Chopper is often regarded as the worst character in Garden Warfare, which I mean, they're not wrong. He's a bad combination of lack of mobility and lack of range, but a lot of choppers can still deal a lot of damage at their effective range, provided they don't get instantly targeted by like, five guys. I've calculated the rate of fire, DPS, time to vanquish, and a bunch of the other random stats for Chopper and his variants. Burst damage characters like Chopper tend to have faster time to vanquish values in comparison to other characters, so we'll see how the Choppers hold up. If you want to skip to any specific point in the video, I've left timestamps in the description for your convenience, as well as links to all my data if you want to read it yourself. I'd also recommend checking the comment section for any pinned comments, as I'll be using those to make corrections, clarify anything I said, or highlight something someone else said. With all that being said, let's get into the video. To start off, we got some basic stats to go over. Pretty much anything that's observable in-game, or will be needed to calculate another stat. For damage numbers, most choppers have anywhere from 0 to 2 damage upgrades. For instance, chopper deals 25 damage by default, 28 with just one upgrade, and 31 with both upgrades. But fire chopper will always deal 8 damage, as he lacks any damage upgrades. Hot rod chopper deals 25 damage by default like chopper, but only has one upgrade, making his maximum damage 28. Power chopper deals 10 damage, and 11 with the upgrade. Count chopper and unicorn chopper are identical to default chopper, with 25 by default, 28 with one upgrade, and 31 with both upgrades. Toxic Chopper only deals 8 damage, and just like Fire Chopper, he doesn't have any other damage upgrades, getting a Toxic upgrade instead. Armor Chopper does 45 damage by default, and 50 with the upgrade, giving him the highest damage of all the Choppers. Chomp Thing does 7 damage by default, and 8 with the upgrade. At close range, Yeti Chopper does 35 damage by default, and 38 with the upgrade. At medium range, it does 21 by default, and 23 with the upgrade, and at long range, it does 15 regardless of the upgrades. Disco Chopper does 30 damage by default, and 33 with the upgrade. While in Disco Fever, he does 40 damage by default, and 44 with the upgrade. Twilight Chopper does 35 damage by default, 39 with one upgrade, and 43 with both upgrades. Although Chompers don't have an ammo count, Spray Chompers can only use their main weapon for a certain amount of time before they overheat. This means the number of instances of damage they can deal is locked to a certain amount. Fire Chomper can deal 13 instances of damage by default, and 19 with the Overheat upgrade. Power Chomper can deal 19 instances by default, and 24 with the upgrade. Toxic Chomper can deal 13 by default, and 19 with the upgrade. Finally, Chomp Thing can deal 16 by default, and 22 with the upgrade. By spamming the trigger while playing these characters, not only does your DPS increase, but your total instances of damage does too. Actually, measuring this is very difficult, so take my numbers as more of a rough estimate than guaranteed numbers as they vary depending on how fast you spam the trigger. Spray Choppers also have a set cooldown time of 2.5 seconds across the board, and unlike other infinite ammo variants, they cannot shorten that time with an upgrade. Chopper's signature ability, eating zombies whole, causes him to be stunned for a period of time. This length of time can be decreased up to 2 times with upgrades, and it is shared across every chopper. Without any upgrades, it takes 4 seconds to swallow a zombie. With one upgrade, it takes 3 seconds, and with two, it takes 2.5 seconds. The time it takes to do the eating animation is 2 seconds, so if you want to count that, you just add 2 to each value. Yeti Chopper can freeze people in 4 shots by default, and 3 with the upgrade, meaning his time to freeze is 2 seconds by default, and 1.3 seconds with the upgrade. Yeti Chopper's projectiles are also pretty slow, meaning we'll have to add his projectile travel time to the total. At medium range, his projectiles take about 0.75 seconds to reach their targets, and at long range, they take about 1.5 seconds. Rate of Fire allows us to compare how fast each character fires in comparison to each other. It's also needed for calculating DPS and time to kill, making it important for general comparison. Rate of Fire can mean a few different values, but what we want is rounds per minute, or RPM for short. You get rounds per minute by dividing 1 by a character's attack interval and multiplying by 60, or dividing a character's ammo count by how long it takes from the empty clip. For obvious reasons, we'll be using the first one almost exclusively for choppers. Default Chopper, Hot Rod Chopper, Count Chompula, and Unicorn Chopper all have the same 135 rounds per minute, and Fire Chopper, Power Chopper, Toxic Chopper, and Chomp Thing all have the same 250 rounds per minute. Armor Chopper, Yeti Chopper, Disco Chopper, and Twilight Chopper are all slower than default at 85, 90, 115, and 100 rounds per minute, respectively. For Spam Fire with the Spray Variants, I'll be using myself as a basic average. My rounds per minute on an analog controller is 720.
Damage per second or DPS is the easiest way to see which characters do more damage over time than others. It's simple to calculate, as you just have to multiply a character's rounds per second by one of their damage numbers, but it's not all that accurate in actual in-game scenarios. We'll use Chomper as our basic average, as he's the default variant. He ties with Count Chompla and Unicorn Chopper at 69.82 damage per second. Fire Chopper and Tox Chopper are both nearly identical. While Fire Chopper has fire damage, which increases DPS by 6.8, Toxic Chopper is a character whose effective rage is always within range of Toxic Radiant damage, meaning we add both the DPS of Toxic damage and the Toxic Radiant damage, which do act separately. This makes them have basically the same DPS, with them both going under by default and going all the way to just above 100 with spam fire. Hot Rod Chopper is a lesser DPS in comparison to Default Chopper, as he only has one damage upgrade, causing him to fall under slightly. He is an example of only using one damage upgrade though. Power Chopper is worse by default, but by spamming the trigger it takes the top spot with an estimated 132 damage per second, and if you watch my engineered video you'll notice he actually has an identical DPS to Rudy Z. Armor Chopper is a slightly higher DPS at 70.83 in comparison to Chopper's 69.82. Like the other spray choppers, Chomp Thing has a worse DPS by default and a significantly better one with spam fire. However, unlike the other spray choppers, his DPS without spamming actually takes the worst spot at only 33. Yeti Chopper at close range has a worse DPS than default, and I grayed out his other ranges as he's the only chopper who can actually attack anyone outside of close. Disco Chopper has a slightly worse DPS than default, but in Disco Fever he's obviously better. Twilight has a better DPS than default at 71.67. Time to Kill allows us to accurately compare how fast certain characters can get certain vanquishes in comparison to others. It's also much more accurate than DPS, as it shows how effective each character is in a variety of situations. You calculate Time to Kill two ways. The easier and less accurate way is dividing a health pool by your character's DPS, which is better for fully automatic variants. The second is multiplying a character's attack interval by one less than the amount of shots needed to get a vanquish, which is more accurate for slower firing variants. For characters with fire or toxic damage, I made a second line under them. This line subtracts their total extra damage from fire or toxic from each health pool. Usually I count this as a legitimate part of the chart, however due to the extra damage only coming into use when you die, it's grayed out. Chompers are basic average, with some actually pretty fast time to kill values. Again he's tied with Count Chopper and Unicorn Chopper. Fire Chopper is worse by default, but by spamming the trigger he's much faster, especially at higher health pools. Hot Rod Chopper is either slower or average making him a good example of only using one damage upgrade on Chomper. Power Chopper's slower by default, but he takes the top spot for almost every health pool, only missing 100. Toxic Chopper is worse by default, and better by spamming shots. He's basically just Fire Chopper, but again. Armored Chopper is better across the board, and actually takes the top spot for 100. Of course, someone with a better trigger finger could probably beat that with Power Chopper. Chomp Thing takes the worst spot at every health pool by default, but is faster with spamming the trigger. At close range, Giddy Chopper is faster at 75, average at 100, and slower at all other health pools. His time to kill values for medium and long are also grayed out due to him being the only chopper to hit those shots at those ranges. Disco Chopper is slower to every health pool, with the exception of 125, where he's faster. I grayed out his values for Disco Fever, as they're obviously not consistent. Twilight Chopper is better at almost every health pool except 150, where he's just average. Well, that was Chomper. If you've been following this series for a while, you'll know it's no secret it took me a bit of time to get all the Chompers' important upgrades, but I ended up doing it in time. Now, my only real fear is not finishing all the Cacti, but they're an actually good class, so it shouldn't take that long. I'll be doing All-Star next, so make sure to subscribe to stay notified of when that'll happen. If you found any of this useful, why not drop a like or comment down below? YouTube recommends videos with more people comment, so if you got something you'd like to say or a question to ask, go right ahead. Anyway, I need to get my ass in gear if I want to get the rest of these done, so I'll see you in the next one.